All right, first graders, get ready because today is our very last lesson in module two. You have done such a great job working through this. We've been learning lots of new things, and today you get one last shot at showing us what you know. Now, our I can statement today says, I can use a strategy to subtract. And will you go ahead and get your whiteboard with me with a dry erase marker before we get started? And also, off to the side, you may grab your Lesson 29 problem set in your math workbook. It is almost, it's not quite the very last page, but it is the second to last page in your workbook. Okay, I'm going to set that off to the side with my pencil for when I am ready for it. Now, when I say I can use a strategy to subtract, this means whether you have if it's just a number sentence or maybe there's a story problem that makes you subtract, you still have to be able to subtract and solve that problem, whether it's a story problem or just a number sentence. So we're going to work on and review our strategies for subtracting today. We're going to first practice the take from 10 strategy. So I will erase this. Okay, we're going to practice the take from 10 strategy first. I'm going to go ahead and start with this number sentence and you can write this with me. We're going to start with 15. Take away, hmm, let's do, why don't we do 3 to start, okay? 15, take away 3. Now, you do not need to get yours. I brought my cubes just for some practice here, okay? And if I am subtracting something, well, I know that 15 is made up of, I see this one here, that means there's a 10, and five more. So, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, here's 15. If I want to take from 10, I'm going to start with this 10, and I'm going to go ahead and finish my number bond here. There's 5. This is the number sentence we would write first. We would start with the 10. Here's our 10. Remember, 10 is our friend. That's why we're using 10 first. We're going to take from 10 what we are taking from in our problem. So we have 15 take away 3, so we're going to do 10 take away three first, okay? So if I take my 10 here, boop, boop, and take one, two, three away, okay? What are we left with in just my 10 here? One, two, three, four, five, six, we're left with seven. Or, since boys and girls, you don't always have unifix cubes next to you, use your fingers, 10, Take away one, two, and three, you have seven fingers still up. So, there's part of it. Now, we take our answer, okay, just like when we make a 10 and adding, we're always going to take this first answer and we're going to make it travel down here. Now, don't forget, I have the seven, but I still have this guy here too, right? My blue ones that were the five in 15. So now what we have to do is we have to put these two back together because we kind of split them up to take from the 10. We gotta put them back together because they're all left over still. So we have seven plus, how many blue cubes do I have? I have five blue cubes, seven and five, boy. I can use a quick make a 10 strategy in my mind. I might count on, I might say seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 is my answer there. So, 15 take away 3 equals 12. Okay, that's how we take from 10. Let's practice another number sentence. This time, we're going to go with 17 take away, let's do 9. And we'll go over a few other strategies with this one. Okay? When we subtract, we can use a take from 10 strategy. What might also help us is the number bond strategy that I started. Okay. We have 10 
and 7 makes 17. I made, made my friendly 10 here with the ones that are left. This is 10 and 7 more, okay? I may also draw a picture. We have a picture strategy that we can't forget about. That way I can just draw 17. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. There's my 10 and I'm going to draw my 7 more. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 16, and 17. There we go. <clears throat> now, if I first take from 10, I know 10 take away 9 equals, hmm, 10 take away 9. If there's 9, what's 9's partner to 10? It is 1. Watch if I do that in my picture. I have 1 left in this group. Okay, I'm going to take my what's left, 1, and add it with the rest of it. What's left here and here is the same, right? 7 and 7. 1 and 7 make what? 7, 8. So, 17 take away 9 makes 8. Okay? So there are a couple different strategies that you can use when you're subtracting. Now let's go ahead and erase our board. And hopefully by now, you're starting to think about which strategy works best for you so that you're not doing all that extra work every time you have to subtract. Okay, I have my math book turned to the Lesson 29 problem set. Okay, I see the number 1 here at the top with the number sentence 14 take away 5. And we're going to practice that take from 10 strategy just a couple more times before we move on to some story problems. Our first number sentence says 14 take away 5. We're going to use our take from 10 strategy. In my mind, I'm imagining 14 as 10 and 4. Okay, 10 and 4 make 14. I know that it's 10 because I see the 1 in the 10's place. And I know 4 because I see 4 in the 1's place. <clears throat> so, now let's take. We start with our friendly 10. We're going to leave the 4 for later. We're going to take away what we have here, 5. If I have 10, we put down 5. What's left? 5. Good. Now we take that. Zhoop, it goes right down here. 5, and we add what's still left, the 4. Five and four more. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. So, 14 take away five equals nine. Okay, now if you're doing this with me and you're like, oh, Mrs. Garris, this isn't really the strategy that works best for me, bear with me for a minute and you'll get to choose your strategy in just a minute, okay? Let's practice it one more time. We have 13 take away eight. Let's make our number bond together. 13, remember we want our friendly 10. I see a 10 here. And how many left? 3. Good. Since we're doing a take from 10 strategy, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do 10 take away something. We want the number that's in this number sentence. 10 take away 8 equals what? Hmm, if you have 10 and you take 8 away, what's going to be left? Or the other way of thinking it is, who's 8's partner to 10? 8, 9, 10. Ooh, I need 2 more. So 2 is my answer there. It travels down to my no next number sentence so I can add those two parts back up. 2 and what's left here in my number bond is 3. So 2 plus 3 equals what? 2 and 3 make 5. So four, 13 take away 8 equals Awesome. I can also check that by using the picture strategy. So why don't we go ahead and try one of those ones out here. Why don't we skip down here to number four, all the way at the bottom. Skip down to number four. <clears throat> number four says, this week Maria ate five yellow plums and some red plums. If she ate 11 plums in all, how many red plums did Maria eat? 
this box tells me and reminds me I need to write a number sentence in it. Okay? Now we know how many plums Maria ate altogether, right? When we subtract, we want the whole number, the biggest number, to go first. So, would five yellow plums mean all of the plums, or would 11 plums in all mean all of the plums? Right, I hope you think 11. 11 plums in all, the words in all means all together or total. Okay? We already know she ate five yellow plums. So we are subtracting because we have the whole number and we have a part. Some of the ones that she ate, five of them are the ones we know she ate. Okay? This time I'm going to practice a picture strategy with it, or you may continue to do the take from ten strategy. Okay? So eleven is made up of ten and one more. If you are drawing this as a picture, we don't need to worry about that number bond part. We simply want to look at 11 and draw that number. We want the whole number first. That's 10 and one more. Make 11. If I'm doing take from 10 now, I'm taking my 10 and I'm subtracting what's in my problem, which is 5. Ten, take away five. So remember, this is like what our cubes were. Okay, if we have ten, we take five away, but we still have this other part here. So now we have to put these two parts back together. Ten and five should have equaled five. Now we have these two parts. We have five and the one that's still over here. Or Maybe you just took whoop, your five from your picture, which you should be doing, and you see two. Five and one more are left here. Five and one more makes what? Six. So, eleven take away five equals six. Great work, first grader. This is not easy stuff. Let's do one more where you get to choose the strategy you use, okay? You have to write a number sentence, but you must include a strategy to show how you answered the problem. I'm going to go to the next page, so it should still say Lesson 29 problem set at the top. <clears throat> I'm going to skip down, let's see here. Why don't we just go all the way down to number 7. Read the story about Hadley. Okay. Hadley needs to have a number sentence in her story problem, please. And you need to show a strategy on how you solve your number sentence. Here's your story problem. Hadley has nine buttons on her jacket. She has some more buttons on her shirt. Hadley has a total of 17 buttons on her jacket and her shirt. How many buttons does she have on her shirt? Okay, the first thing I think to myself is, do I know the whole number here? She has some on her jacket and some on her shirt. I don't know how many she has on her shirt, so I must know a whole number somewhere. Hmm. If I have a whole number, then hopefully I have a part too, so I can figure out the other part. Hadley has nine buttons on her jacket. She has some more buttons on her shirt. She has a total of 17 buttons on both her jacket and shirt. So how many buttons does she have on her shirt? Okay. Hopefully you picked out 17 as your whole number. Okay. We know that she has these on her jacket. How many does she have on her jacket? Because I'm trying to find a missing part. I'm going to subtract. She has nine on her jacket. So equals, this is going to give me the number that is on her shirt. The number of buttons on her shirt. Okay, now it's your turn. Work independently again. That means on your own to use a strategy to show how you would solve 17 take away 9.
So there's the picture strategy, or you may use the take from 10 strategy. You started with your picture strategy. We should always draw that whole number first. Our whole number is 17. So I need 10 and 7 more. If you started with your take from 10 strategy, you would have still taken your friendly 10 out so that you can subtract 9. 9 and what make 10? 9 and 1 make 10. Or, if you took 9 from 10 over here, we have 1 left in this group. We still have these though, so we need to put them back together. 1 and what's left? What's still left here? And here in our number bond. 7. One more than seven is what? Should be eight. Good. So 17 take away nine equals eight. How many buttons does she have on her shirt? Well, Hadley has eight buttons on her shirt. That would be the statement we give. I like to put a a square or a box around my answer so I remember if I give a statement what the number is that I had to find. Hadley has 18, 8 buttons on her shirt. I hope you're feeling good about using a strategy to subtract. If you would like some more practice problems, you can do any of these problems that we did not do together today. Okay, and you can have a grown up check them. If you feel like you're ready, you can show your teacher what strategy works best for you to solve a story problem or just a plain old number sentence. I want you to head over to Seesaw now and go ahead and finish your activity for math. Thank you for working so hard with me today, boys and girls.